Yeah, it's another very interesting time tumekutana tena. My name is Mr. Mlelwa. Kama uko pamoja nami katika mada iliyopita ya periodic classification basi mada hii ninayo kufundisha naitwa Mr. Mlelwa. You can get my um, my background from uh, either previous sessions uh, lakini pia you can get my background from uh, looking at my profile. Lakini mimi nikukaribisha ndani ya um, Dr. Mlelo Adrisio.tz uh, tovuti hii ambayo utaweza kujisomea kwa lugha zote mbili za Kiswahili na Kiingereza and I hope you will understand a lot of things which will help you in your uh, final form 2 and even form 4 examination. Now this is the um, final topic in a form 2 chemistry which is chemical bonding formula and in nomenclature. Topic 7 chemical bonding formula and in nomenclature. So we'll be dealing with three things in this topic. We'll be dealing with uh, First is chemical bonding, chemical bonding, and then we deal with the formula, chemical formula, and then nomenclature. Chemical bonding ni kusoma kusu vitu mbalimbali vinaweza kuungana kwenda kutengeneza kitu kikubwa kimoja. Hiyo ndo bonding. Bond ni force of attraction between two different atoms to form large a molecule or compound. Formula ni vile ambavyo tunaweza ka kitu fulani kimeungana let's say sodium imeungana na hydroxide tunaiandikaje sasa hiyo sodium hydroxide ile tunaiandika inaitwa formula formula of sodium hydroxide and then nomenclature is unapewa compound fulani unatakiwa uipe jina kukipa jina kitu ndo naita nomenclature nomenclature is giving names so by introduction tunasema bonding involves holding atoms together Bonding ina involve kushika atoms together to hold the atoms together to form molecules or compounds. So bonding involves holding atoms together to form molecules or compounds. A chemical a, a chemical formula refers to a symbols. Chemical formula refers to symbols and a number that represent the, the composition of a certain chemical substance. Ndiyo formula yoko bonding in a hold atoms together to form molecule or compound. Like in a chemical formula Uh, ni symbol au ni alama and number alama moja ya number which that represent a composition of certain chemical substance nomenclature means naming nomenclature means naming so we'll be dealing with three things we'll be dealing with a force which hold two or more atoms together to form molecule or compound but also we'll be dealing with a symbols and the number that represent the composition of a chemical substance but also we'll be dealing with the nomenclature which is naming naming different compounds in this chapter you will learn about uh, chemical bonding then you will learn, uh, learn about valences uh, learn about chemical formula uh, oxidation states radicals covalent bonding electrovalent bonding nomenclature of chemical substances so you learn a lot a lot a lot a lot chemistry which is developed here it's very important utaitumia kuanzia hapo utaitumia form 3 utaitumia form 4 utaitumia form 5 form 6 hapa pana chemistry moja kubwa sana hapa kwenye hii topic unaona so the competencies developed will enable you to identify the chemical substances used in daily life activities unaona that are formed when different materials are bonded together this will enable you to study the relationship existing among chemical substances and how to apply them in learning in learning and in different activities related to chemistry so competences developed in this topic they are very important widely used in daily life let's start by discussing the concept of bonding bonding and a bond what the bond and what's bonding a bond is anything that hold two or more substances together that hold two or more substances together kitu chochote kinachoshika vitu viwili kwa pamoja kinaitwa bond a bond is anything that hold two or more substances together ni kitu chochote kinachoshika vitu viwili au zaidi kwa pamoja kinachounganisha kile kinaitwa bond ko uh, let's say um let's say we have a, a lot of uh, these examples of bonds in our daily lives kwa mfano unaona huu ni ukuta wa matofali matofali katikati ya tofali moja na nyingine huo kuna kitu pale katika tuna tunaweka so that act the bond between two bricks unaona kati ya matofali mawili ile inakuwa kama nini kama bond so a bond is anything that hold two or more substances together many things used in our daily lives are constructed using different materials joined together by some bonds for example in a brick wall kwenye ukuta wa tofali ambao unaonekana hapa each brick is joined to the other by a bond made of mortar a mortar ni ile tope fulani au cement fulani ambayo imefanya imechanganywa kwa hiyo unaona kwamba tofali moja na nyingine zinaunganishwa na 
mortar ile nini ni bond similarly chemical substances they are made of atoms that are held together by chemical bonds so even in chemical substances zinakuwa zimeunganishwa pamoja sawa zimeunganishwa pamoja na chemical bonds kwa hiyo atoms eh, katika chemical substances atoms zinaunganishwa pamoja na chemical bond so what is a chemical bond tumesema a bond is anything that hold two or more substances together but what is a chemical bond now a chemical bond is the force of attraction you see it is the force of attraction that hold atoms or ions together to form molecule or compound very easy to say a bond is anything that hold two or more substances together like in a chemical bond what is that a chemical bond is the force of attraction that holds atoms or ions together to form molecule or compound very easy like that ko chemical bond ni force of attraction ni nguvu ya mvutano inayoshikilia atoms au ions um, atoms bila shaka uh, tulikuwa pamoja kwenye topic ya atomic structure so you know what's atom but ions we will start them in this topic so you will understand what is ions ions radicals and their valences utazisoma katika hii topic kwa hiyo a chemical bond is the force of attraction that holds atoms or ions together to form molecules or compound so it holds atoms or ions manaka hapo kuna vitu vili vimezungumzwa it holds atoms or ions together to form molecule sometimes inaweza kawa ni atom na atom sometimes inaweza kawa ni atom na ion sometimes inaweza kawa ni ion na ion unaelewa inaweza kawa atom na atom inaweza kawa atom na ion au inaweza kawa ion na atom au inaweza kawa ion na ion what is the difference between atoms and ions we shall see later lakini lazima ujue tu kwenye topic ya atomic structure umesoma kuhusu atoms na unajua kuhusu atom mbalimbali kwenye periodic classification umesoma kuhusu elements na unajua kuhusu elements mbalimbali if i tell you about sodium you know the chemical symbol of sodium uh, from your knowledge of atomic structure uh, from your knowledge of periodic classification but also from your knowledge of elements a compounds of and a mixture topic ya from one now chemical bond ni force nguvu ya mvutano inayoshikilia atom au ion kwa pamoja hizi atom au ion zikishikiliwa pamoja zinatengeneza nini zinatengeneza kitu kinachoitwa either molecule au compound kuna utofauti mdogo sana kati ya molecule na compound utaelewa tutakavyofika huko mbele so chemical bond in a hold two or more atoms together or ions to form any molecule or compound the bond may result from forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions or through the sharing of electrons eh kuna bond ambayo ina result from the force of attraction between oppositely charged ions kama vile ambavyo tunafahamu kutoka kwenye physics electrostatics kwamba eh like charges they repel but unlike charges they attract each other so sometimes tunaweza kuwa tuna negatively charged ion na positively charged ions ka attract tukatengeneza force of attraction between oppositely charged ions but sometimes a bond can be formed between sharing of electrons is in bond is in a bit of faulty bond in equal form the through forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions inaitwa electrovalent bond au ionic bond kwa sababu kuna kwa kuna two opposite charged ions and these ions which are opposite charged they attract each other tunaita ionic bond au electrovalent bond lakini ile inayokuwa formed by sharing of electron we call it as covalent bond tunaita kama covalent bond so a covalent bond is the bond which is formed by sharing of electrons and electrovalent bond or ionic ions ionic ions no no a force of attraction between opposite charged ions it forms what ionic bond you see so it's easier it's easier like that things are not complicated now what's a molecule a molecule a molecule is the smallest particle of an element or compound which can normally exist separately a molecule is the smallest part particle of an element or compound is the smallest particle of an element or compound which can normally exist separately kwa maana tukisema water molecule maana yake ni h m b l o this is the way water exists so it's water molecule w- molecule is the smallest part of element or compound which can normally exist separately now to me discuss kusun bond to say bond is the force of attraction which holds two more two or more substances together and chemical bond is the force of attraction which holds atoms or ions 
to form molecules or compounds. Hiyo tumesema nini? Bond na tumesema chemical bond. Lakini kuna nini? Kuna bonding. Bonding. Bonding ni nini? Ni kitendo cha kutengeneza bond. Kwa hiyo tukisema chemical bonding ni kitendo cha kutengeneza chemical bond. Chemical bonding ni kitendo cha kutengeneza chemical bond. Chemical bonding ni kitendo cha kutengeneza hiyo force of attraction. Kwa chemical bond the force of attraction. The process of making the force of attraction is called the chemical bonding. We define as chemical bonding involves electrons in outermost shell of atoms. A chemical bonding involves whether the transfer or the sharing of electrons in the valence shell or in the outermost shell. Chemical bonding involves sharing or transfer of electrons in the outermost shell. When the outermost shell are completely filled with electrons, kama ile shell ya nje ikiwa ina electron mfanyaje wamejaa. Wamejaa electron kwa shell ya nje wamejaa. Yaani wako katika octet au katika doublet state. Tukisema doublet maana yake electron wawili. Kuna baadhi ya element electron ikiwa wawili kwenye uh, valence shell ile element inakuwa tunasema iko stable. Element ambayo iko stable haiwezi kutengeneza bond. Element ambayo iko stable haiwezi kutengeneza bond. Ndio maana kuna gas inaitwa noble gases au inert gases katika grupu 8. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu zile zenyewe shell yake ya nje ina electrons zimejaa. Kwa hiyo haiwezi kutengeneza bond whether by transferring or by by sharing haiwezi kutengeneza bond so when the outermost shell are completely filled with electron the atom are said to be stable atoms zinaitwa stable otherwise they are unstable sasa atom ambazo zinaweza kufanya chemical bonding ni zile ambazo ziko unstable stable atoms they cannot form chemical bonding table 7.1 shows the electronic arrangement of some elements and the stability of atoms of the element unaona so for example hydrogen it has one electron Unaona number of electron ni moja electronic arrangement au electronic configuration ni electron moja tu it is unstable helium it has two electron mm, electronic arrangement it has two electron it is stable S lithium three electron two ratio one it is unstable ba uh, barium four electron two ratio two it is unstable now you can ask me one question kwamba huyu ana electron ngapi nje wawili na huyu ana electron wangapi nje wawili kwa nini huyu anaitwa unstable wakati huyu anaitwa stable hii ni kwa sababu kuna element kama helium stability yake inatakiwa na electron wawili nje lakini kuna element kama barium stability yake inatakiwa na electron nane nje yani element wa wawili hydrogen na helium wanadago kitu nakiita doublet state electron inatakiwa wawe ngapi wawili nje ili wawe stable lakini element wengine wote kushuka huko chini wote huko chini ili awe stable lazima awe na electron nane nje naita octet state kwa elements zinatofautiana element hii hydrogen na helium ili ziwe stable zinatakiwa kuwa na electron ngapi wawili in the valence shell lakini element nyingine zote za huko chini ili ziwe stable zinatakiwa kuwa na electron nane katika valence shell kwa ndio phenomenon ambayo utaikuta hapa huyu ana electron wawili nje lakini unstable na wengine wote nimekwambia lazima awe na electron ngapi nje nane maana mkuta huyu hapa na electron nane neon neon kianza hapa halo ile na ile bebelu bora chinja na ondoa figo nene ne ne neon stable huyu ana electron nane nje na ondoa figo nene na sodium na mgeni aliyesimama pale Serengeti club arudi algon 18288 it is stable algon noble gas hiyo maana arudi kwao potassium canada so All other elements they are unstable except noble gases. Look at this group 8 helium, uh, group 8 neon, group 8 nan argon. All of these uh, they are stable elements. They are called noble gases or inert. Tukisema kitu inert maana it does not react. It's inert. Unaona it does not react. So from table 7.1 only helium, neon and argon have stable electronic key arrangements helium has a maximum number of two electron in its outermost shell tunaita nini hiyo doublet doublet double doublet state uh, outermost shell neon and argon have a maximum of 80 electrons in each of their respective outermost shell these types of stable atoms are generally unreactive they are unreactive and can exist freely as a single atom 
So the noble gases, uh, noble gases, uh, neon, helium, neon, and argon, zenyewe has reacted na yote. Unaona? Unstable atoms can exist freely as single atom. Cannot. Sorry. Unstable atoms cannot. Unstable atoms has ways it can exist freely. Lazima zikombine na wengine. So, for unstable atoms to become stable, they should acquire electronic arrangement similar to those of noble gases. Ko unstable atoms easy or stable lazima zi, ziwe na electronic arrangement. Sawa na ile ya noble gases. This means that they can either lose gain or share electrons through chemical bonding. So, how many ways the atoms they become stable? Three ways. Atoms, they can become stable by losing of electron, gaining of electron, or sharing of electron. You see, atoms become stable by losing of electron, gaining of electron, sharing of electrons. Unona? Through chemical bonding. So, chemical bonding can be formed either by losing of electrons, Gaining of electrons or sharing of electrons. Ukiruzo kwamba, how many ways the atoms they can become stable? There are three ways. The losing of electron, the gaining of electrons, or the, the sharing of electrons. In the coming session, we start discussing regarding the formation of ions. How the ions, they are formed. How uh, an atom can lose electron and how an atom can gain electron to form ions. And then after that, we'll go to different types of bonds and the way they are formed and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I hope you have understood regarding the concept of bond, the concept of chemical bond and the concept of chemical bonding. Bonding in Ezekiel through losing of electron, gaining of electron or sharing of electrons. Thank you and let us meet in the coming session. Thank you.